Barons and Wall Street pumped luck in coffee before shares collapsed. Here's an illustrative example that if you pay attention to the media, the stock forum, or even social media, you're going to get screwed. This is where certain individuals like Meet Kevin or groups manipulate the market to artificially inflate the price of a stock. They pump up the value, only to dump it when it reaches a peak, leaving unsuspecting investors in a lurch. After the pump by Barron's and Morgan Stanley, the company faced allegations of fraud and it was delisted from NASDAQ. But let's delve deeper into how these schemes actually work. The first stage of a pump and dump scheme is known as the pump phase. This is where the schemers start their crafty operations. They aggressively promote a specific stock, creating an air of excitement and urgency around it. This clever marketing play stokes the fire of public interest, causing a significant surge in demand. Like a balloon being filled with hot air, the stock price begins to skyrocket. To the moon, Chalmuth says. This inflation continues until the schemers decide they've hit their sweet spot. The pump phase ends when the schemers feel the stock price has peaked. Now comes the dump phase, the second and final stage of this scheme. At this juncture, the schemers start to offload their shares, taking advantage of the artificially inflated price. As they make their exit from the market, the promotion abruptly ends. This sudden withdrawal leads to a sharp decline in demand, which in turn causes the stock price to plummet. The aftermath, other investors are left grappling with significant losses. So basically, the schemers pump up the stock price only to dump it later, hence the name pump and dump. So that's how a pump and dump scheme works. Simple, yet deceptive. It's a cunning ploy where stocks are artificially inflated, then sold off, leaving unsuspecting investors with losses. Tempting as it may seem, it's a perilous gamble. Not only is it illegal, but it's also a gross violation of ethical standards. This form of market manipulation can lead to severe penalties, including hefty fines and imprisonment. Remember, if something sounds too good to be true in the stock market, it probably is. The media loves creating clickbait headlines like billionaire Ray Dalio to grab your attention to make ad revenues. The financial media is designed to scam people.